Hi there, and welcome back to How Do You Do That in KineMaster. Today, I am going to demonstrate how to add text and how to play around with text just a little bit. Now, there is an awful lot you can really do with text, so I'm not going to dive too deep in this video. This is really just going to be an introduction, but there will definitely be some follow-up videos later. So the first thing we want to do is notice that there is this red counter here. The number goes up as your video goes up and that shows the duration of your video. So you're going to want to figure out where it is in your video that you want to add text. If you wanted to add text right at the very beginning, you would just keep it right here at the very beginning of your project where the numbers are all at zero. But maybe you wanted it to come in at say two seconds or so, then you can adjust where you want it to come in. I'm going to go ahead and just pop it in right here. Um, not being too picky today about where it goes. So from here, I'm going to click layer, come over to text, and then simply type what I want my text to say. That looks good to me. I'm going to click OK. And from here, you can see my text shows up on the screen. Now, if I go over to the white screen, you're not going to see it anymore because this text is white. <laughs> So if you wanted to change the color of your text, you would come right over here to this dot. Click on that and then choose a color. I'm just going to go with blue because that way we can see it on both of our screens. Okay. From here, I can do pretty much whatever I want with my text. I can stretch it out. I can make it smaller. I can turn it. And these little lines that show up are really nice to make sure that things are centered. That's always really nice. You can also use these over here to center. So if my things over here, I don't feel like finding it the center manually, I can just go over here, center it that way. Okay. So different things we can do from here. We can change the font. And there are so many different fonts available on KineMaster. And if you don't like the ones that you already have, you can go over here into the KineMaster Asset Store and there are hundreds of them, maybe even thousands, but um, definitely hundreds. So I'm gonna go ahead, let's choose Sniglet, just cause that's fun to say. Click OK, and there's our text. Hi guys. Okay, we can also change the way our text comes into the frame and out of the frame. So the in animation, there are all of these choices here. I'm going to go ahead and choose drop because that's kind of fun. But you can go ahead and experiment with all of the different options. So I'm just going to choose that one. Click OK. I'm going to highlight that again and determine how I want it to leave the screen. So if I click on the out animation, I have pretty much the same options. And you can really just play around to see whatever it is that you like best. Also down here, this determines how fast or slow your text comes in or out of the frame. So let's see what we've done so far. There's our text, dropped and down, and now it's disappearing. Off into cyberspace. <laughs> so let's highlight that again. And we'll choose our other buttons here. This one determines what our anime, I'm sorry, what our text is going to be doing while it is on the screen. So I'm actually going to stretch this out a little bit so that we have some time for it to be on the screen that we can play with. We can have it blink. We can have it flicker. We can have it jitter. That would kind of give me a headache. All kinds of things. Lots of different options that you can do. So those are also fun to play around with. If you decide you don't want any of them, you can always go up and click no or none, excuse me. <laughs> I'm going to go with that option. <laughs> okay. 
keep moving down here, we have the option of rotating or mirroring our text. We have the option of determining the opacity so we can make it kind of see through. Okay, so another option we have is the outline, which I like a lot. It really makes your text pop. So you can choose your color of your outline. Maybe you want it to be yellow. You can change how wide it is. Boy, that really pops on the black, but not so much on the white. Let's change it. We can always change it, which is really cool. <laughs> Let's change that to red. Very nice. Okay, what else can we do with this? There's so much. You have the option of adding shadows to it, um, the option of adding a background to it. You can make your background stretch the entire width of your screen and also the opacity of your screen. So it can really take over the whole thing. Hmm. This is really getting to be a crazy looking text, isn't it? You can also use highlights. Uh, this also changes how it looks on the screen kind of stretch things out all kinds of different options so I think we have about covered every well we've covered the introduction of a text and how we can use text in our project so I hope you found this helpful if you did please go ahead and click like share subscribe comment all of the YouTube stuff and uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial on how do you do that in Kidmaster all right, take care, everybody, and have a great day. Bye-bye.